Hi YouTube, today we're doing an update on some vacuums I recently got. I have four, well three, but one's in for repair. Uh, so my break was actually shorter than expected because I was getting rid of the cold, but um, I'm back now. I was going to plan to make it a few weeks, but I thought, well, I'm pretty sure the YouTube community community would love to see my new machines um so three of them are hoovers and one's a panasonic i'll start with this one bought this on monday along with these two uh it's complete uh, it's missing its pre-filter um it did have its post filter but i mainly bought this to get parts for that one um so I'll show you around this a bit. It's in a quite nice metallic colour. The metallic's all in there as well. Give it a little clean. It wasn't very full. But the motor shrieks at you like dry bearings and muck inside. It does have that flat flex though, which I use quite a bit. And of course the cable rewind is sluggish. I'll just tear that up. Had hose, metal tube and floor tool. The floor tool's exactly the same as what you'd get on that. And I think I'll use the metal tube on that too. Not very heavy, it's quite a lightweight machine. It's 2000 watt. So if this was working I could have sold it for a bit. Oh yeah, someone wants to buy my Hetty and I will buy a brand new pneumatic. I think I've told one person. You know who you are. Next we'll move on to the Hoover Spirit. This came with a little yellow steam cleaner, but that had a broken catch so it doesn't lock together all the bits. I had these two plastic tubes were, that were stuck together. Not only did I get a Hoover spare, I think I got about like 20 used fags with it in there and clogged up. Um, show you a second in there, but I've washed the whole bin out and everything. And I've washed its pre filter too, which is drying. It does have this, excuse me again, a single cyclonic thing. Ugh, smell it, it's awful. Fags. That single cyclonic thing. And the dirt comes in through there. They would come and I've normally just go straight out of it. Look at Another HEPA filter. Um, and I can show you the pre-filter, the post-filter. But what's surprising, with this one not having this pre-filter, which came out that, it post-filter, but it still had the grill, like the grilly bit that holds it in, so... Obviously someone took it out, washed it, um, and someone else in the household used it. But, yeah, it does work, this one. Um, I tried it a little while. Um, Plastic tubes and that floor tool comes with it. Two brackets there and one there. Um, this one has that one, there's not one underneath. You can see why. Um, to work, this just has the roundy flex, and to work it, you have to lift the handle up and press that little thing there. That's how you work it. It's not like a button you Well, there is a button you press, but. It's not like exposed like round here. On off dial, it's not like once it turns on there's a speed control, which I think there is on another spirit. This one just is all one setting. Um gaffer tape the ears, there was a big rip in the hose. So, you know. Um I do have quite a lot of this modern cheap bagless some people might call Ugh. Well, on this channel, trying to keep this channel very uh, clean. Uh, this pure power I did make a little video of, of the sound of the brush roll. Don't know how you'll fix that. Might be the brush roll bearings. This would be the sealed version, but some fiddlestick in the auction played with it. Um, I had to remove it all together because when I went to go see this on the Sunday before buying it, it was a self-sealing thing and it worked. Then when I went to go see it before I bought it on Monday night, uh, the sealing thing was ripped, so I had to take it out when I got it. Um, 
so you know. I've been using this and it's really good, I really like it. But the Turbo Power 2 I used to have, AutoSense, was a much better cleaner for deep down in the carpet. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you the prices, did I? Oh, I'll just shut that a second. I might be able to squeeze a more for Richard's bag in here. Um, because this bag is rather smelly, damp cellar. This was £12, that was £12, that was £8, including the steamer that came with that one. I got this in for a pair, the cog belt would snap, like the little one. Um, but I've been washing this over in there. All these machines here I will make videos of, detailed videos. Uh, edge cleaning. What's funny is there's stiff bristles, but the edge cleaning ones are soft. If you see there, they're much longer though. Uh, vindicator. I love these uprights. I've never had one, but I've used my auntie's one. Well, my great auntie's one. Not too heavy. They did have one of these for sale this shop, but it was thirty-five pound. Um, that one was seventeen hundred watt. This one's nineteen hundred watt. So. You know, I think the water just sort of increased. Yeah, this one's. I'll just take the key to it. This one's a 2003 one, 11th week. Uh, that's how old that is. I don't know how old that is. Don't know. I don't know. It's just red. Oh, uh, yeah, this Henry isn't new. It's just. 2003 Henry. I have had for ages. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I've got to say. This had all its tools apart from the steel grooming tool. It does have the brush tool, which is stiffened considerably. It's more like a scrubbing brush. It has two wands because I put one on from the dust manager I had. That was pretty much. Ah, uh, no, I won't say it. Uh, so, you know, I'll do a video of that. Maybe that. Maybe that and maybe that also. I'm definitely. I'm going to do the video on this now. Thank you for watching.